Show me that. Okay. What, going in there? <laughs> Come on, then. That means we don't have to buy you tickets for car shows. I said it before and I'll say it again. Morning all, uh, Danny at Dino Days here, hello. Uh, so most of you guys know that uh, our channel is predominantly Honda and Mitsubishi stuff, because that's what we love and that's what we work on. Um, and I've just bought a new daily, which is this FN2 Championship White Edition. Um, I'm loving it at the moment, but I'm still getting to grips with uh, how everything works. So uh, I've got a tire pressure monitoring light on at the moment. Didn't even know these had that function. So um, I'm gonna sort that out. I've put some air in the tires this morning and it hasn't gone out. So I've got that to look forward to. But this is generally the start of my series of videos um, with living with an FN2 as a daily. I've been uh, I've been doing videos on living with a, a Colt CZT as a daily, and whilst I've still got that car because I'll never be without a Colt, you all know that. Um, they have a special place in my heart. Um, yeah, I've got this uh, FN2. Uh, I bought it because I absolutely love the mapping that we're doing on the FN2s at the moment. The technology inside inside them is just fantastic. The uh, the Ecotech software that we use is is second to none it's absolutely brilliant it's so trick as well controlling all the maps on the steering wheel and stuff and a good friend of mine paul west has recently <laughs> introduced me to adjusted launch control on my phone which is again just f fantastic what what kind of technology is that where i can sit in the car and adjust my uh my launch control and other features on on my mobile who knew so yeah, so this is the start of our, our my videos on the FN2 um, and uh, and hopefully you guys are going to help out a little bit because I'd like to know uh, what mods you think I should do, if any, because it's Championship White Edition. Should I be modifying this car? Let me know in the comments below. If you think I should be modifying it, once I've shown you what I've got, what do you suggest that I actually modify first? Um, it's not mint, it's not a mint car, it's not um, show condition or anything like that, it's just a daily, so um, so we've got to make some improvements, I think, uh, I've been very fortunate enough that our friends at Powerflex have already sent us over a full bush kit for it, uh, they like what we do, we love Powerflex stuff, so that'll certainly uh, sort out the tired uh tied bushes i mean it is what 12 years old it's a this is a november 2008 car so it is coming up to coming up to 12 years old um so yeah it's gonna be a little bit tired and stuff rich has already put a drop link on it at work and uh, that sorted out a nice rattle that i had which was a bit worrying um but that sorted that out so uh yeah, so in the comments and stuff, let us know what you think and what we should be doing to it. Um, tell us what cars you've got. If you've got FN2s, tell us what mods you've made that you've been really happy with, what brands you've been using. Um, if, you, if you've gone coilovers, let us know what type of coilovers you've been using, what you think's the best. If you've got experience of, of different parts and what you think makes power, we can always get those parts stick them on the car i run before and after on the dyno so if there's something that you want to see what makes power whether it be an inlet manifold or a particular uh a particular like four um downpipe uh, decats things like that uh, we can stick them on as you guys know we sell a lot of jap speed stuff um we work closely with teguar so there's pl there's plenty of there's plenty of parts available to us that we can test and try out for you um, intake probably first this car is quiet so because it's quiet and 
I went from I went from my daily Colt to an EP3, and I absolutely loved that after we mapped it. I was hooning that, having so much fun in it. Um, but I really felt I, I felt connected to that car because I could hear everything. It was this is very very comfortable? It's very quiet. So I think I need a little bit of noise so that I can hear what I'm doing, so that I don't have to be looking at all this Star Trek stuff in the dashboard. I'd like to be knowing exactly what's going on. So I think I need to hear that. Um, so we got stuff to do like servicing. What oils are you using? What what oils do you recommend? You you guys have got the FN twos already. Tell me what you think. Um, maybe the goal for this car ultimately would be like would be like the one that we did recently, which was the supercharged one, which I fell in love with. It was red. It had carbon fiber parts on it, which gave me a boner. It had it had the power, the looks, the noise. Um, it it was brilliant. So definitely, let me know where you think I should go with this one. Um, I've got lots to do. I've got lots to do, and it's going to be over time because it's a daily. I've still got my Evo to spend money on. I, I just never get around to doing that. But because I'll be in this car daily, either seeing problems or seeing room for improvement, I think this is the one for me to make it for me to be making the videos on so i'm gonna take a load of photographs of the car you can have a look the car's um fairly well i'm not sure well it used to be a press car so honda owned it at some point it's there's videos on youtube of it already going around tracks it's had jensen button dragging his jean buttons down the down the bonnet of the car so he's definitely attacked this one at some point so it's got a little bit of like uh, history to it. Uh, I bought this car from a really nice lad up north. Very honest, very straightforward, um, really helpful guy. So he'd looked after it for a couple of years. Uh, he was big into his alphas. So he's gone back to an alpha, but great lad. Really pleased with my purchase anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, good, good, good chap actually. Um, so yeah, so let us know what you think. Let me know what you think to this car. If you know anything about this car, good or bad, because obviously we're all on forums, so you know you might know something about this car that I don't. Um, but yeah, if you know anything about this car, I'd really love to hear about it. I'd love to hear from you. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, that sort of stuff. So get in touch. Um, and yeah, let's let's see what what we want to do to it. And I'd appreciate from you you guys and your experiences with the FN2s, so a few mods to make first, then map, and then and then go from there and see and see how much I love it as a daily, a um, couple of bits of information, it's about 32 miles per gallon, um, I know you don't buy a Honda, and I know you certainly don't hoon VTEC thinking about miles per gallon, but someone out there might want that information, it's not as good as fuel on my day, as my daily Colt, the daily Colt was mapped up to um, 200 brake and 225 foot pound of torque and was still returning over 40 miles per gallon. This is not likely to do that, but this is that power, or certainly brake horsepower wise, out of the box before a map. So, yeah. So, again, drop some comments for me, drop some likes. There's plenty of YouTube channels out there that I follow. So you guys that have got YouTube channels, you say hello and let's um, and let's see what we can do. Um, so, right, here's a load of photographs coming up. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe and all of that sort of jazz. And, um, and we'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Oh, yeah. And, guys, tell me what splitter this is. I don't know whether you can see that or the bottom half of the bumper. The last owner kindly um, delivered the car with the original one as well. But I do like the way that this looks. So uh, let me know what you guys think that is. Um, you know, a link to where to buy it from. In case